I often tell you how criminals attempt to hide evidence, but DPS troopers say not one in particular. Deputies say he recorded the moment that he got away from troopers during a traffic stop. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield live in the newsroom with more on the video, Micah. Eric, what could have been a routine traffic stop for Alan Lynch Jr. and maybe a ticket has now turned into a felony, and he's pretty much laid out the evidence for law enforcement. So, y'all, I got away. I got away. Round the plow, round the plow. A but five and a half minute video posted by Alan Lynch Jr. to YouTube, bragging about getting away from a state trooper who pulled him over earlier this month. It's just a car that I drive just to um, get around so the police won't pull me over. That traffic stop on I-10 near Eldridge Parkway back on February 4th, seen here in the video Lynch posted. Hello, Hello Texas Highway Patrol. Reading for the stop is your expired temp tag. I just got this car today. I, I, just, got, I just got this car today. Okay, do you have your driver's license on you? Yeah, I do. All right, and then go ahead and step out with me as well. The 23-year-old takes off, seen weaving through cars on the interstate in his Dodge Charger, passing by them like they're at a standstill. And then you hear a crash. State Highway Beltway 8. Lynch documented himself, quote, ducking off, as he put it, hiding from law enforcement at an apartment complex that day for hours. But he was identified, located, and arrested this week, charged with felony abating. That places lives at risk needlessly, and he had a cavalier attitude about it. This is not Lynch's first rodeo with troopers. In fact, he was out on bond at the time for doing the same thing months before. He was pulled over in September, and court documents say he got away after speeds reached 120 miles an hour on the interstate, almost 100 on the surface streets. Law enforcement charged him in that incident, too. Not only does evading place the uh, community at large in danger, but it places the suspect in danger, it places the trooper in danger. And tonight, Lynch is out on a $10,000 bond. I spoke to his attorney on the phone, but she said she does not want to comment on a pending felony case. Live in the newsroom, Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.